Welcome back. Let's say we have a file, in our case it's called avp.sys, and every time we try to remove the file, it, an error message says the file is currently open in other program. To remove the file we have to use, I'm assuming you've tried other option, and this is the nuclear option. We're going to use a program called first64. And what this program is going to do is it's going to terminate the service that is currently using the file so the file can be manually removed by us. The tool can be downloaded from Blipping Computer. You don't even have to install it, it's a single download tool. I have the 64 bit version because my Windows is 64 bit. Once I have the program, I'll go ahead and run it and there is nothing to configure. Click scan and wait about five minutes because it's a long process. Once the scan is over it will create two text files. One is called first, first txt and then addition txt. Let's go ahead and open the file first txt. What you, what you see is only several lines but you're going to have a lot more in this file. I removed mine for the sake of this tutorial. And under somewhere in this text file you're going to have a file name that matches the file that you are trying to remove. In our case it's AVP. What we are going to do is inside the text file we're going to do control F so we can find the file that we're looking for. It's called AVP. I look control fi uh, find next. It will find the line that contains the program, the service that corresponds to the file that we're trying to remove. This is the line we're going to need. You may find multiple lines that contain the file name you're trying to remove but the one we need is under services subcategory at least that's how I have done in my case so once we have this entire line we're going to copy it and we're going to create a new text file called fixlist.txt and inside fixlist we will paste the line that we just copied. Save the file, close it, open the Farbar program again, and the way it worked for me is I pasted the same line inside this field. I'm not sure if you have to do this, but it won't hurt if you do. Go ahead and paste it here, and you've already pasted it inside Fix List. Once you have it in both places, click Fix and that is going to automatically terminate the leftover service that is occupying the AVP file that you're trying to remove. Once it's done your computer will be rebooted and you will be able to remove the file after that. I hope you find this helpful. If you do, leave a like button and subscribe for more videos.